this year, bro. What anime is overrated? Asking people in Japan. Any anime you think it's overrated? Oh, let me go first. Fairy Tale, Fairy Tale, Inuyasha, and uh, Black Clover. But my, my opinion on Black Clover is changing. No, he said Jujutsu Kaisen, bro. No way. Who oh, Jujutsu Kaisen? Is that the story could be better? Okay, my academia <laughs> replaces uh, uh when I was young, so it, it made me think a lot about my own life. When you reach the last episode, I wish they would continue. That's how good it is. Gold, gold, greatest anime of all time. Not even a debate. Bro, straight nice wallin', anime. bro. Takashi from Japan. So today I'm going to interview people in Japan. What anime is overrated? And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you my opinion: overrated, underrated, my most favorite anime of all time. So please watch until then. Okay, let's get started. Any anime you think it's overrated? I don't want to step on anybody's toes, but One Piece, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you already done the conversation, bro. Go ahead and get out, bro. You're not funny, bro. You're not cool, bro. You're trying. You're an attention seeker, bro. You're not funny for that, bro. One Piece is the greatest anime of all time. It will always be the greatest anime of all time, bro. You need this yapping, bro. It's gonna be different so bad, bro. Like, what do you mean One Piece is overrated? You're overrated, bro. Your life is overrated. Like, what are you talking about? One Piece is the greatest anime of all time, bro. And the fact they do that, I just know you're attention seeking. You're attention seeking whore, bro. I know. I know. I know what you are. You know. I don't respect it, bro. He could, bro. Bro, there's too many episodes. I mean, like, bro, it's so many episodes, bro. It's an anime, bro. What do you want? You want a, you want a 10, 10 episode series, bro? It's been going on for twenty five years. Boy, you, you thought it's gonna be like a, a two hundred episode, bro? Like, bro. I, I get the story, but why is bro not pirate king by now? Like, it's a story, bro. It's not. It's not. You're not speed running one piece, but it's a story, bro. It's point A B C. You're not going A to D, bro. It takes time, bro. It's a journey, bro. That's what the one piece is, bro. It's not about the ending bro it's about the destination to get the one piece bro you want to speed run him like the other anime you want to end up like bleach and i love bleach but you want to end to the like the manga version where they sped around the ending bro bro a, a thousand episodes nah bro him do the same thing over nah bro i get he's not doing the same thing over and over again but like a thousand episodes is way too much uh, I don't really watch anime. Is there any anime that you can recommend? Bro, he doesn't watch anime, bro. So he doesn't understand like what he's talking about, man. Okay, okay interesting. He doesn't watch anime usually. Uh, somebody that doesn't watch. What did Bo just do with his hands? He doesn't watch anime usually. Oh, he had Naruto. He had Naruto writer, bro. That's kind of hard. I would say start off with a 12 episode, one season anime called Erased on Netflix. Erased is overrated, bro. I'm still on business, bro. Erased is overrated, bro. I'm still on business, bro. Erased is so overrated, bro. I watched it, bro. It was cool and all, but I felt nothing. And then go it's overrated. Death only better. Titan. It's very complex story, but it's easy to understand. And there's only four seasons. It's about to finish. And then I would say move up to Dragon Ball Z. So uh, bro, it's not even a real anime. He's just a mainstream watcher, bro. Like this is just the most generic anime you can name. Like, like, I'll be a Kuratoriyama, bro. But Dragon Ball Z, really? Classic. And then start Bleach. And then Cowboy Bebop. Ooh. And Cowboy Bebop is a gem, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Cowboy Bebop is probably one of the greatest short-term anime I've ever watched, bro. What's your most favorite anime of all time? Oh, oh, oh. Just, just one, <laughs> just one. You don't, you don't start. Oh, yeah, be facts. Be yeah, you don't start anime. Like you don't start anime on a race. You literally get bored of it. You cannot start an anime on a race. That's literally the worst option you could think of, bro. Okay, Attack on Titan. I rather you start with Attack on Titan. At least, at least one Punch Man. Uh, one Punch Man. I think Bleach is incredibly overrated. Bro, you look stupid, bro. Like, what do you mean Bleach is overrated, bro? Like, I like, what do you mean Bleach is overrated, bro? You literally just yapping out your mouth, bro. See, I hate these attention people seeking. That's be saying they be saying the best anime is overrated. Like, what do you get? You think you're cool because you don't like Bleach? Like, yeah, you think you you think you're gonna get some clout points, bro? Just like the anime, bro. Stop being a hater, bro. It's not that hard, bro. You're not cool for that, bro. Because. 70% of the show is filler. Skip them! Lately, skip them! Have you watched Naruto, bro? Skip all of them, bro. What is bro yapping about? 100 episodes of Bleach. Only 30 of them. Skip them! It's not that hard, bro. Just don't watch it. There's nothing. So, I'm not wasting my bro time. Saying, he bro saying Bleach is mid because you, 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 because he, what, you, yeah, his fillers in it, bro. Skip. Literally, every, almost every long-term anime has filler, bro. Just skip it. You can literally look up which episodes are filler and skip it. Bro, just yapping. He sounds stupid. He, he thought we would agree? Nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Um, underrated. There's a anime called Dead Men Wonderland. That's a great I heard about anime. that. It doesn't I heard about that. the manga ends. I heard about that. But I don't meet many people who have seen it, and I think it's amazing. I heard about that. Why do you think it's amazing? Um, it's a little bit darker. I like darker anime. It's it's kind of deep, and it has... Like, <laughs> not to, yeah, if he says not to favorite, bro, he's a hypocrite. Stuff. Um, and I, just, I like anime that does stuff like that. 
Can you give me an example? If you like this anime, you're gonna watch it. I think if you like um, Evangelion, Neon Genesis Evangelion, you'll definitely like this one. If you've seen um, Mirai Nikki, Future Diary, I think you'll also really like Dead Man Wonderland. What's your it's about to be a rant. Of all time? Probably Evangelion. It's gotta be. Evangelion, Neon Genesis, Neon, Neon Genesis, whatever, bro. Neon Genesis, bro, is literally the most confusing anime I've ever watched in my life. Mind you, I do have to watch it again. But is the end when I first watched it, bro, I literally sat down and felt nothing but confusion. Like I was like, bro, what is going on? I didn't even I couldn't even comprehend what I just watched. So I like, bro, don't get me started, bro. Skip. It's just it's such a classic. Good art style, good story, great voice acting. It's just uh, everything about it is is really really good, I think. Just like adulthood and like being a teenager, the uh, No, children. What do you mean adulthood, bro? When I was young, so it, it made me think a lot about my own life. Hey, you, you so should watch it. Now, the ending's hard. The opening's it, hard though. It's like, hard. Oh, it's like, hard. I've thought this and I've felt this and yeah. What anime is overrated? I think Boku no Hero. Okay, I agree. I do not like one. I do not like My Hero Academia. I do not like My Hero. Bro, I haven't watched My Hero Academia since when it came out. When season two came out, that was like 2017, bro. I'm oh season one. I'm really mid, really mid, and the world mid. Two, the world building, but the the story could be better. It would have so much potential, but it's very overrated. I mean, it started good. That's why I get the hype. But I think it then didn't like continue well. So that's why I think it's overrated. I agree. What about underrated anime? I think it's Made in Abyss. I feel like, I mean, it's pretty popular among the people who have watched That's it. That's not bad. I feel right, like right. a lot of people don't give it a chance because drawing style of the characters is very special. They look like very childish or like a baby. Which uh, my my ma like Made in Abyss? That's not that bad. bad. It looks pretty but good. The world building is incredible and like all of the drawings. It's not like any other anime I've watched. I Let me write this down, bro. And it's very made brutal, in Abyss. even though they look like kids. So I think more people should give it a chance. What anime is your most favorite of all time? It's always gonna be Attack on Titan. The story. I can't hate. I can't like hate, story, bro. The music, you see the guys? The ah, I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip. I'm not a fan. So I'm gonna skip. And like they have a lot of plot twists, which I like. If you watch it, you think it's about this thing, and then there's like a plot twist where all you thought was true was like a lie or like it's not what you thought it was. So I'm gonna spoil it, bro. Aaron's the main villain in the end, bro. I'm gonna spoil oh, it. Aaron's the main villain. Happen? And why did they never talk about this? And you get to think a lot. In the end, usually like it turns out not as you expected. So that's why I like it a lot. So, what anime is overrated? Kimetsu no Yaiba, aka Demon Slayer, is the most overrated. I I can't I can't even hate. I I I can't hate. I understand. I I I disagree. I disagree. It's not 100% care by animation, but I understand. I'm not agreeing, but I understand. Hero plot twist is always the same kind of a story. So if you have watched a lot of anime, you know that there is nothing unique in, in Kimetsu no Yaiba. Same kind of a story that, that you already probably watched in tons of anime, but with a beautiful animation. The only good thing about Kimetsu no Yaiba is Shinobu Kocho and the fight against Upper Moon One. That, that would be fantastic, but besides that, is, the story is absolutely bad. What anime is underrated? <laughs> but your L man's trying to spoil it, bro. Hey, you see, man. Wait, you didn't finish it? Oh, my fault. Oh, I am L man's, bro. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. I'm L man's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It has a lot of plot twists. Oh, Buddha, my, my brother says it's really good. My fault. My fault. My fault. It's super smart. It's probably one of the smartest guys in, in all anime. And if you like mystery, you gotta watch a Bungo Stray Dogs. Hold on. Let me see something. Why, why is it not popping up in chat, bro? I can't, okay, it is popping up, bro. Okay, I'm tweaking out. I'm tweaking out. Well, let me let me see. Maybe I could put the chat box. You could like stay a little bit longer, so I could just I could just uh this this it could stay a little bit longer, you know. Let's see. Wait, type something in chat real quick. I want to see something. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it goes away. So I'm going to do like six seconds. Yeah, okay. That's cool. I'm going to do like six seconds. A little bit longer. A little bit longer. Let me, just, let me do something again. Yo, my fault. My own man's. My fault. My fault. My fault. I apologize. It wasn't right. It wasn't right. It wasn't right. 
Hey, bro, I'm about to cut that out in the, uh, in the, when I drop this on YouTube. Probably not. I go. I'm a hater, bro. Uh, <laughs> I'm chill. I'm playing. Japan is quite famous, but overseas is not that quite famous. I don't know why. What anime is your most favorite of all time? Shingeki no Kyojin, aka Attack on Titan, is the greatest anime of all time. Cap. Not even a it's a good. It has the best storytelling. No. Nope. The best plot twist. I agree. The ending was fantastic. Shingeki no Kyojin, gold, gold, greatest anime of all time. Not even a debate. What anime is overrated? Dude, I'm sorry. Jujutsu Kaisen. My okay, now bro, by speak a whole bunch of nonsense, bro. Because the fact that you think Jujutsu Kaisen is overrated is kind of crazy. But I'm going to let it rock. I want to hear his perspective. The issue with Jujutsu Kaisen is that it's so complicated. Okay, all right. Bro's just stupid then. All right. It's simple as that, bro. He can't understand basic a basic power system. It's not that hard. It's not. It's literally not that hard. It's, it's literally watching YouTube video about it. It's not that hard. Like, it's not that hard. You have to put a narrator on there to explain what is going on. Like, buddy, buddy. Almost every anime has a, na a narrator that explains what's going on. Have you watched Hunter x Hunter? 95% of the story is narration, bro. Yuji has this power. This person has this power. When he does this X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, then you'll finally understand. Like, I'm sitting there. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, what is happening? Season two had some really good, like, fight scenes, but the pacing was just kind of like, it's okay. What is, bro, yapping about? The pacing was, yo, season two of uh, Jujutsu Kaisen was literally beautiful. He says yap, he just want to be different. That's, yo, he just want to be different. That's what it is. I don't know the main characters mm. anymore. First season, I don't even remember it. Like, I don't even remember Good, what good. anime is underrated? An underrated anime is season one of ReZero. Bro, I loved that anime. It was so good. I don't think a lot of people liked it. I think he, 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 he does comprehend it, it was, but he can't but comprehend it. It is so such you know, a deep It's not that hard to understand. That, yo, domain expression is just your innate domain coming out, bro. And or you see just negative energy, bro. I, I don't I don't understand. Like, it's not that hard to understand the YouTube Kaisen, bro. Like, it's, it's, it's never that hard. Story that if you do, you'll think about it too much. Do with depression, mental struggle. Why, why it's only season one? Because season two, they kind of just go heavy into the lore and less about the character. So it's more about like, okay, now the plot's moving forward. We're doing this X, Y, Z. But before it was like a character study of Subaru and his deterioration as a person. And it was the shock value was really good. And I don't think a lot of people like it because I think season two has kind of devolved into waifus and oh, just, never mind, like, never mind, girls and stuff. So never mind. it's an underrated anime. Never mind, sure. never mind. What anime is your most favorite of all time? <sighs> I'm a weeb, man. Like my favorite anime of all time was Kaon. <laughs> I'm I'm not surprised that you know you guys is not you know it's too hard for me to understand, bro. He like he like he one of those weird guys that like that that like the lolly girls, bro. Like, I'm not even surprised by this selection, bro. Your favorite anime is a bunch of little children, bro. Uh, I mean, okay. Go Yo, ahead. K-On, bro. K-On, man, was my most favorite. Actually, that is the anime that got me to Japan, which is why I wanted to come to Japan. It was, like, my very first, like, real slice of life anime where you're literally just hanging out with these girls. Bro. Playing music. I was in a Bro is a loser, bro. What do you What do you mean hanging out with girls, bro? Go do that in real life. Is it that hard to do, fam? Just go do that. What? At the time too, and I loved music, and I was into music production, and I remember like I wanted to get like Yui's guitar. I already got Asus's guitar, like the Mustang. Like that's the first thing I bought when I got here. I know it's like cringe, like moe moe kyu. Like it's kind of like that, you know. And the voices are kind of whatever. The songs really hit, resonated with me. Every time I hear Tenshini Furete, oh, I cry, bro. I love that anime and. It always has a special place in my heart. I would 100% recommend that to anybody who just wants to kind of escape and kind of feel this calm. 100% like, oh, Riz, fine, bro. Everything's fine and friends are what's important and stuff. It's very good. Bro is living by curious through these anime girls, bro. If you want friends and if you want to go hang out with girls, go do that in real life, bro. Honestly, with you, bro. The fact that you're living through anime is kind of sad, bro. Have you ever been unable to watch your favorite Netflix? W.I., bro. Hey, whatever you're doing, bro, go do it, bro. You know, you feel me? <laughs> Why he look like that? Anime is overrated. Fairy tale. Too much fan service. My brother. My brother. One enemy to the next, to the next without any like real calculus. Bro, I tell you, bro, I watched 81 episodes of Fairy Tale. I'm telling you, bro, I almost fell asleep, bro. I, I dropped it. Do that. Remember, at episode 81, I decided, I, I paused, I took a moment, looked back, I'm like, yeah, I'm never watching this again, ever again. I'm just like going from one enemy to the next, to the next without any like real character development. 
the characters don't really change as much. They sort of overuse the power of friendship. I'm fine with the power of friendship being used every now and then. And it's literally all, all ends in power of friendship, no, bro. This is not literally valid. all of no, it. This does not make sense. Fair talk could have been at least top friendship five, but it just ruined it. Automatically mean you win. You can have all the courage you want, but if you don't have the power to back it up, you ain't going to accomplish Facts. jack shit. Facts. What about underrated anime? Underrated? I would say Odegaidu underrated because it doesn't have a lot of action big fight scenes but it's a it's a my youth romantic comedy is wrong as i expected critique the social dynamics the social influence of society and how people are sort of products of the environment of which they are raised in and how that will influence how you interact with people how you see the world it's a very interesting anime when you see the, the relationships people have between each other um the relationships they have because of society and the relations that they have with themselves because of who they interact with and how society portrays them. What anime is the most favorite of all time? One Piece. The uh My brother! My brother! You feel me? I wasn't really feeling whatever weird stuff he was into before, but hey, this stuff right here, uh, uh, that's, mm. He yeah, wrote One Piece Glazer, bro, just like me. Um, the character development, the relatable background stories. If it's not relatable, at the very least, it is understandable. Even if you may like, okay, I can't personally relate to this, but I can't understand it. The story expands very well. Everything is, in some way, shape, or form, is connected. Each character feels like they feels as though they have a purpose. They're not just there to fill space. All right, you yapping a little bit, bro. Come on, come on. I'm a One Piece Glacier, too, but you, you, you're, you're going too much. Does do a very good job of making sure his characters get equal screen time when they need it, when they deserve it. And he does a very good job of making sure anything that was sort of dropped in the past gets revisited in the future even if something's in episode one or episode two if you look far enough it was referenced or connected to something that happened later he's on. He's still so, talking bro it's two times speak but even he looks frustrated he's like bro when is he gonna shut up bro he keeps talking bro like like hey very well the story is a very good job of expanding itself and Oda, while he does give you enough hints yes or be able to inference what happens next he also surprises you listen i trust Oda and his works wherever he stops i will respect the man he's done his justice and i believe he will continue to do his justice what anime is already oh good oh my goodness bro he stopped yapping bro Whew. throw it never stop all right let's go I think Demon Slayer is slightly overrated because I understand. I'm like getting into it. I understand. I think an anime should have a really good hook in the beginning to get you into it. And I felt like for me personally, it wasn't as exciting. Muzan literally dropped a 7 0 streak on his family, bro. What do you mean it's not you didn't get a hook, bro? He literally squad wiped his whole family solo, bro. Like, what's the best what do you mean? It's so popular. Like, it's more popular than like Spirited Away, which I can't. Cap! Cap, no, lady, you're yapping, bro. It is not more popular than Spirited Away, bro. You're literally, ch yo, stop. Together, stop. I grew up with that, and so, yeah, I would say it's overrated. Well, anime is underrated? I think Chainsaw Man is pretty underrated. I think it could be even more popular because I think the art style is really, they mix a lot of, like, 3D animation into mm. it as well. So to watch, it's, like, something mm, so brand I don't know. And so I really I don't know. liked Chainsaw Man is unique, but I didn't really. And I thought that the I didn't. I didn't really get it, bro. Squad wipe is wild. It's the truth. The anime did even better. It's the truth. And so it made it much more interesting to watch. What anime is your most favorite of all time? I would say Attack on Titan is definitely my favorite. Yo, I, my friend really loved this girl. Fall in love on spot. I don't want to watch it for years and years because it just had so much hype. But now that I watched it, I was just like, this deserves to be even more popular, in my opinion. Yeah. So what anime is overrated? Naruto. It's bro, get out. I'm not going to lie this. Get out, bro. No, just shut up. No, whatever you have to say is irrelevant, bro. You're irrelevant. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Shut up. What do you mean? Naruto's overrated, bro. You're overrated, bro. Get out. Like, literally, just leave. Walk away. The interview is done, bro. Like, literally, I don't respect you, bro. Get out. You make me sick. Like, bro. I can't stand that, bro. Bro. That's not bad. The story on Chainsaw Man is non-existent, bro. It's, Naruto is very I don't know, overrated. bro. It's very hype. Obviously, Ninja is very cool. This is spoilers. Naruto kind of being like a god. Everything was decided by fate. Whereas his his favorite anime is literally going to be the make or break of this video, bro. The whole time. Let's see. I'm gonna be patient. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold back my insults. Fate doesn't matter, and you can work your way up to become Hokage. I do kind of agree. Fate is what kind of. I I yeah I agree line, I agree. It kind nah, of fell nah. off at the end. However, I still respect it a lot. Nah, I did hear the manga was fire, bro, but I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to read it. I'm going to wait for the anime. I might read it soon, though. I still think it was very beautifully done, but it's not as good as One Piece. <laughs> so what anime is underrated? One of the most underrated anime, Berserk. I, I, do still I agree. I agree. I do want to watch Berserk. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. 24 episodes. Maybe it's like 1990s anime art style I agree. people don't like. I agree. This is about a man guts and his true perseverance through life. You know what? I think a lot of guys like this more. It's kind of like this signal. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Berserk, 
Definitely underrated. For new anime watchers, yes. Old anime watchers, they probably have seen it. So what anime is your most favorite of all time? One Piece. One Piece is... You know what? I can respect the trade swap for uh, One Piece for Naruto, bro. I can understand. You know, I respect it, bro. As long as he has One Piece as, like, his favorite, bro, I, c I can't even get him out of it, bro. I can't even get him out of it. Best I can't even get him out of it. Best manga of all time. The anime suffers a little bit from pacing, I understand. But the manga, the story of One Piece, best story progression, the world building. It's like Lord of the Rings, you know... This giant world created. I gotta watch Lord of the Rings, not gonna lie. I'm gonna start soon. I'm gonna start over the summer. Good. You know, there's a lot of series that kind of like just fall off and then get good again, fall off. This is just progressively amazing. It's like an exponential curve. It just keeps going up. I respect that. So, hey, yeah, you're not wrong. One Piece, best no, manga, anime of all time. Unless, of course, he screws up the ending. <laughs> we don't know if he'll screw it up. I don't think he will. I think he'll be fine. What anime is overrated? Overrated man. Oh, I'm gonna say one piece. Don't kill me <sighs> Bro wants to be different so bad, but but the way he he's being polite, bro I'm gonna let him slide not not no, I'm not gonna let him slide, but I'm gonna hear him out I'm gonna hear him out cuz I have words I want to say to this man, but I'm afraid that I'm gonna get banned off of YouTube and uh, Twitch. So I'm just gonna keep uh, keep it pushing, bro. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna keep it pushing, bro. One piece, I think one piece. Don't Fine. kill me. Fine. I don't know what it is, but you know, like sometimes you might try something and you're like, mm, I don't know, I'm not really into it. So I think one piece is that for me. It never really pulled me in, like oh Naruto pulled me in, or Yu Yu Hakusho, or any of those, right? So are you a fan? It seems like you're no, a fan. No, no. I know he didn't say Yu Hakusho. I'm sorry, bro. But Yu Yu Hakusho's first 20 episodes is literally a snore fest, bro. Literally, it took everything in my power to make it out of um the 20 to to make it to to uh when he learns the spirit gun, bro. Even then, bro, I almost fell asleep. Yeah, I literally stopped the anime after watching the game. But honest with you, bro. Okay, okay, okay. So what anime is underrated? Maybe Bleach, right? Because I feel like a lot of people speak, they don't like Bleach, right? For some reason. Why? Like fans, it might be a bit slow. Sometimes it can Come on, bro. Oh, oh, guys, I want you to pay attention real quick. You see how he's taking a picture of there? He probably be saying, oh my gosh, he's a black guy, bro. I got to take a picture of this. You don't see one of them off too often. It might be a bit he slow. Should. Sometimes it can be a bit slow. He even look like, why is he taking a picture of? gets up there with action and stuff. I like it. But I think overall, Bleach is underrated, in my opinion. What? Because very few people seem to like it. You know what? Look, is he Jamaican? Anime. If we're gonna go into a world that doesn't exist, you just expect anything. It's anime. So I think overall it's fine. If we're going into a world that's fictitious, ex expect fictitious things to happen. Um, so I think Bleach. I, I like Bleach actually. So. I, okay. What's your most favorite anime of all time? To be honest, I would say I like Naruto, but Yu Yu Hakusho. Hakusho. I've watched Inuyasha too. Rowan and Kenshin school, but I think Yu Yu Hakusho is. I can't even hear Yu Yu Hakusho, bro. Teach us on, bro. Over. And when you reach the last episode, I wish they would continue. That's how good it is. So. That's that's the feeling I look for when I'm watching anime, right? Can I watch this consistently and not get bored? That's Yo, Japan is such a beautiful okay, so country, bro. Is overrated. I think Boruto is overrated. Naruto is so good that they should have finished this the anime there. I yes. Think there is no person who prefers to watch Boruto instead of Naruto, right? I agree. I, Boruto is I agree. Fourth sequel. I agree. I, wanted to see I agree. More. Instead of characters of the future, I would like to know more about characters. Of the past so i think they lost that chance creating boruto what about underrated anime i think sword art which is not underrated it's just overshadowed by naruto one piece i actually agree on that take i agree on that take actually i agree i agree a lot honestly to you. yeah yeah i agree it's definitely compared when people when you ask an average person what do you think between naruto and sasuke where's the rank uh between naruto naruto's Sa naruto one piece and bleach bleach is always third but to me bro it's, uh naruto one piece is number one bleach is it's, Bleach and Naruto is always interchangeable with me, like depending on like my mood of that season or time or the, the mood of my day. Line is a very underrated anime. I think the creators of Sword Art Online understand very much what people want to see. And Sword Art Online is a world where a young guy gets into the video game world. So they created the perfect anime where we can dream and we can... Uh, Not gonna lie, bro. Uh, Sword Art Online after Naruto ended was a very... Was like a very... Like, at least you started Sword Art Online the week Naruto ended, bro. So it was it was a nice... It was a nice little, like, soft recovery to heal my depression of Naruto ending, bro. Because I literally was bawling my eyes out, bro. Want to be the main character. So I think that's a perfect idea. What's your most favorite anime of all time? My favorite anime is Naruto because when I was 13 years old... I, I thought Naruto when I was 10. 
And I was. I saw the anime when I was actually ten as well. And of course, I I knew that there is no ninjas here in Japan right now, but I wanted to see by myself the mountains, the waterfalls that appear in the Naruto anime. So I have a very special feeling towards、uh, Naruto. Alright, that's cool. Okay, thank you for watching so far. How was it? That was. Wait, wait, wait. You said after season one, SAO fell off. I agree, hundred percent. But after season two, boys start getting too weird. My opinion on overrated anime. Shingeki no Kyojin, Attack on Titan. Don't hate me. I've tried many times. Many of my friends actually like it, you know. But I don't know. I just, I just couldn't enjoy.、It. I understand how. As much as I did、uh, Dragon Ball, Naruto, One Piece, you know. And then I think Attack on Titan is now one of the most popular anime of all time. Yeah, I think so. so this yeah. This is my opinion. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a try again soon. Underrated anime would be Hokuto no Ken, The Fist of the North. Oh, Jojo. Wait, is it Jojo? Because it's it's old actually, like it's like in eight eighties or nineties, right?、Sheesh. I watched it、uh, when I was like nine, eight, seven, and then Kenshiro, the protagonist of the anime, is my childhood hero. People just don't know the anime because it's old, you know. Like even my Fist Japanese, of the North Star, I've literally heard of Fist of the North Star, but let me write that down. But that's that's a good that's a good. Let me let's talk about. No many people have watched it, but somehow my mom liked it, so you know just recommended me, and then I watched it. It's one of my most favorite anime of all time. My most favorite anime of all time, Slam Dunk. Slam Dunk is my most favorite. You say Slam Dunk, but not uh, you. What's that one show, bro? Uh, the one basketball show. Ah,、uh, I forgot. Dang, what's it called with the blue haired guy? Not just sport anime. It's not just basketball anime. It's the anime. What's it called? Life. And if you haven't watched it, I think it's definitely worth trying. Oh, Kuroko's Basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on Netflix. I don't know in other. Netflix. Countries, but in Japan, it's on Netflix. It's also one of the most popular anime in Japan. But I think it it deserves more than that, in my opinion. And also, I'm gonna interview Japanese people about their opinion on overrated anime. Please watch when I upload it. Okay. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, click like button. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions you want me to ask people in Japan, please leave me a comment too. See you next time, and also don't forget the link in the description. W video, bro.